Hello everybody and welcome to your next C++ SFML 2.0 tutorial. And this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at keyboard events. So to get started with keyboard events, what we're going to do is we're going to include the string class. And to start off, we're going to create a string array. Okay, and we'll just call this message. And we'll set this equal to say hello. My name is Cody. Or actually, instead of doing all that, we'll just say hello. My name is Cody Made Easy. And uh, we'll make another string. Sorry. So we'll make another string called display okay and uh, in this this in this display we're gonna uh, set it to a null string right now okay so we're just gonna have an index and we're gonna set this to zero okay so when we noticed in events before we have an event type we specify the type and we specify what happens when we find the event type in this case, for keyboard input, there's two different types of event types. There's event type is equal to SF event key pressed, and there's key released. As the name states, this activates as soon as you press the key. This activates when you press. It, it, this activates when you release it. So if you press the key down, it won't activate. But once you release it, then it will activate it. So let's just say that if a key was released. Now we have to specify which key we're, we're looking for. So now we have to say if event.key.code is equal to SF keyboard and we'll say return and the return is the enter key. Okay. So uh, SF, when we say event key code, it specifies that we're actually looking for a key press or something. And then we're checking to see when we call SF colon colon keyboard, we're getting it from the keyboard namespace and we're looking for the value return. So if we press the enter key, then what happens? So in this case, when we press the enter key, what we're going to do is we're going to say display uh, plus equals message index. And we're going to say index plus plus. And we're going to make a system call. And I'm going to put CLS. Now, if you're using Mac or Linux, make sure you put clear in there. What this system command does, and I know this has nothing to do with SML, but might as well show you. What this system call does is that if, you, if you're using uh, Linux or Mac and you're using the terminal, or if you're using uh, Windows and you're using the CMD, what this does is it calls a command in that CMD or terminal. So, and if you open up a terminal, uh, let, let's see, let's, let me open up the CMD. So if I was to type whatever, so on and so forth, and I typed in CLS, it would clear the whole command prompt. In Linux and in Mac, once you put the word clear, that will clear the whole window. Uh, the whole window. So depending on your, uh, operating system this will depend on what you put in here so I'm gonna add it to the display we're gonna say index plus plus and we're gonna put uh, we're gonna clear the screen then what we're gonna do is we're gonna say SCDC out and uh, you know what in here yeah we'll put SCDC out display Okay, and uh, so let us let's run this program. Now I'm going to show you something quickly while we run this. So if I go over here, I press this window and I click enter. Notice nothing happens. The reason being is that this window doesn't have focus, right? We're focusing on the console window. When we call event key code SF keyboard return right this is assuming that we have the window in focus right 
so we have to be focused on our actual game window and then we can press something so let's press enter to the first letter and so on and so forth until it says the whole name and if you want to then you can make sure that the index doesn't go above the length of message right so then uh, you can display the whole message so what we're gonna do uh, we're gonna put key released to see both methods so I press the enter key nothing happens I release it wait 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 I never released it yet just gotta move it so I'm gonna release it right now I raise our release I see it I press it release press release so that's what happens when we press uh, uh, the release key or something like that now let's notice if we hold the enter key oh sorry let's go to key pressed let's change it back to key pressed so if I hold the enter key you see there's kind of like a delay it will do the first letter then there's kind of like a delay now if you're to open up notepad and if you were to press like hold a letter let's say hold P there is a delay if you press anything and we hold it down there's an delay there there's a delay sorry uh, the reason being is that events don't aren't made or designed to to take in real-time input right they aren't designed for that they're designed to uh, take input uh, every now and then right so whenever you do that whenever you hold on an event there is a delay because it's not meant for real-time input and we will get real-time input um, as we go on but let's say we don't want them to be able to hold it down and display along um, display the whole message what we could do is take our window right say window dot enable or set key repeat sorry and set that to false and what this will do is that it will disable having repeated keys inside the inside the event buffer so if we press ent and we hold enter it won't I'm holding enter right now and it won't display the, the next letter until I let go and I press again so it won't re keep on repeating keys so uh, that is it for uh, keyboard events it's really easy and the next tutorial we're gonna be learning about some other type of events so hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching and bye oh before before you guys go there's one other thing that I forgot to mention and it, it's a it might be important to you guys as, uh, as well uh, there's one other thing that we can do with the key as well and if we do let's just put an and right and if we do event key we see alt control shift and symptoms and sim system did I just say symptom <laughs> system okay so uh, we have alt control shift and system so if we say control and event control if uh, control is equal to one that means it is pressed which means it's true and if it's set to zero, it means it's not pressed and it's set to false. So if we say that we need to press the enter key and the control key needs to be pressed down, then if we run this, let's see what we get. So we press enter, nothing happens. Press control by itself, nothing happens. Press both of them and you see what we get. And I can just remove that right over here. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's what we get and uh, if you want to make it so control is not pressed you can just put the not symbol or you can say if control is equal to zero which means it's not pressed down and control is equal to one which means it is pressed down right for the key press for the key codes they do have uh, a key code for like SF key uh, L for like left control and they have right control but if we were to, if we're if we're supposed to do this, if we try to say Control plus Enter, nothing happens. The reason being is that it's reading one key at a time, 
right? So it's not gonna um, read those two key codes at the same time. So if you want it to be the control press down or something else or the shift key or something, then you can always use event dot key dot uh, and one of those things. So that is the end of the tutorial. That's just the the thing that I couldn't miss adding in. So that's it. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and bye for now.